why people from two points on a map without even a straight line between them can be connected is at the heart of our story and knock them stiff. You ever think about how we ended up orphans living in the same house? I know what my daddy did. Hello, everyone, and welcome back to another Film Optics Review brought to you by the Drive-In Podcast Network. I'm your host, Christian, and today we are going to be reviewing Netflix's latest original film, Devil All the Time. And as always, I'm joined by my good friend and my co-host, Devin. How are you doing today, man? Happy Where, Friday. Where's the Southern accent? Come on. Uh, I, 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 I do declare, I said... Happy Friday, Devin. No, we do we do so, that that Southern Ohio West Virginia accent like this movie. Now I'll now I'll tell, I'll tell you what. <laughs> Is that better for you? It's something. <laughs> delusions. There you go. Delusions. <laughs> delusions. I I I said delusions. <laughs> but yes, uh, but we are going to be reviewing uh, the Devil all the time. This is going to be a non-spoiler review. This is an embargo review, of course. So worry not about spoilers. We're just going to give our uh, first initial thoughts of the film. But before we begin today's discussion, we would like to thank Netflix for allowing us to watch and review this film. Uh, This is our second embargo film? Third. Third. Yeah, we did Enola. And we did Unpregnant. So this is our, our, our third uh, embargo review that's for the that, uh, podcast. That's that Daniel Craig accent. Knives out there. <laughs> that thick <Yeah>. roll. <laughs> you got to be kind of a little mix of like Cle- uh, Cleveland Brown. And uh, yeah, it's like that <laughs> Southern. Oh, it's just crazy that re- there's that ac- the accents in this movie that it's it's our state of Ohio. Like there could be that kind yeah. of accent here. It's crazy. Yeah, that's literally how we we talk all We're the time. So, We're actually so just down south. It's yes, and it really shows how there's really not that much to do in the OHIO besides like the three major cities. But yes, um, and also before we begin a uh, review, just to uh, put a few plugs in there, you can listen to this podcast on Apple Podcasts. Spotify, Stitcher, Google Play, Red Circle, TuneIn, Pandora, and iHeartRadio. We are available anywhere and everywhere, minus SiriusXM, unfortunately. And, of course, you can follow us on Twitter and Instagram, at FilmOptics. That is Optics with an X. So, Devin, let me read the synopsis so we can just dive straight on and give our our thoughts about the devil all the time. So the synopsis reads, uh, sinister characters converge around a young man devoting to protect those he loves in a post-war backwoods town teeming with corruption and brutality. That's a synopsis uh, there. It's a really nice synopsis. We, we actually so, usually don't get good synopsis. synopsis. That's, that's a good one. <laughs> synopsis? <laughs> Yeah, that is very true. Um, and of course, this will be uh, coming to Netflix on September 16th. I believe that is five days from now of this recording on a Wednesday. Very weird, but I got to take it or leave it. Uh, directed by Antonio Campos, written by Antonio Campos and Paulo Campos, uh, based on a novel by Donald Ray Pollock and producers. Jake Gyllenhaal. Wow. Yeah, saw that name in the credits. That was something. That was insane. No, nope, uh, no also, cameo, though, unfortunately. Yeah, unfortunately not. I was kind of hoping for one, but that's okay. Uh, Randall Poster is also a producer on this. And stars Tom Holland, uh, Bill Skarsgård, um, Jason Clark, Sebastian Stan, Haley Bennett, and, of course, Robert Batson, Bats and Bats, post- uh, post COVID or pre COVID. I mean, sorry. I mean, what what other movie can you get? Batman, Spider Man, Winter Soldier, and Pennywise the Clown all in one place. It's crazy. <laughs> that is very true. Yeah, it's uh, it was it was a pretty pretty engaging movie. What are uh what are your uh, thoughts about it? It was a uh, very very dark and gritty. Like it uh, it has some some imagery. It's pretty pretty hard to to swallow but was it edgy 
I would say no. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so I'm just messing with you. Not not Zack Snyder level, but yeah. <laughs> well, Zack Snyder, it's, as we've said. I mean, the synopsis Sorry. does a good job of explaining. It's it's sinister. It's just like see, these sinister people just doing sinister things. Yeah, it it really is. And of course, you know, this is our first time really seeing. Well, minus onward when it comes to Tom Holland because he was also in Spies in Skies. Um, and he's also supposed to be in the upcoming movie Cherry whenever that is supposed to come out. I really don't know. But um, I, I thought Tom Holland did a really good job. Yeah, it's I thought, I thought really him and uh, Pattinson is just they were just like powerhouses the entire time. Oh yeah. Carrying the movie. <laughs> Robert Pattinson's he, like he his like that performance was so good. He was just so creepy. Oh god. Yeah. His accent he was so too. Versatile. Was like, it's like a yeah. high pitched little soft southern accent. I don't know how, where he pulled that from. It was just so I'm good. like, that is not Tennessee. <laughs> but, but his character, of course, was from there. But uh that's all I that's all I'm gonna say. Uh spoiler wise. I'm sorry. That was my fault. But eh, it's whatever. Um, but yeah, his his accent was very uh very high pitched, very I mean, it's just crazy how like his range is insane, he's very, very versatile when it comes to an actor and it's crazy that people think that he can't act i'm like that all, every single time someone thinks robert pattinson they think um <laughs> they think twilight <laughs> and it's just like that's that that's not his career like those is literally his like humble beginnings like where he got his start this dude's been in just about like he's been doing a lot of indie projects um and you know it's gonna be the next batman so i mean come on it's 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 insane um, and I also wanted to point out Eliza Scalin. Uh, she uh, she's also in this movie, and she's um, from I I thought her uh, I um, saw her from somewhere else. I think it was I think she's in Little Women. She plays Beth in Little Women. So yeah, that's always a good time. But uh, yeah, so any uh, <laughs> any inspirations to you know go out and do some good with this movie, Devin? <laughs> oh, this it's very uh dark and somewhat depressing movie. So if you're if you're looking to be inspired from this movie, um might not wanna <laughs> might wanna, wanna stay indoors. Yeah. Look elsewhere for sure. I mean, like in all, like when I looked at the runtime, it was about two hours and fourteen minutes. I'm like, okay, that's not bad. Um I know with Enola Holmes it's around the two hour mark, but this but one this th- one didn't just... feel long like Enola did for me. It yeah, wasn't really like I, any, I definitely any agree. drags because as the story kept going, there kept being like little mysteries throughout that you were intrigued by. So it did a good job of making it go by smoothly. Yeah, I I, I totally agree. And it, the way that this story is told, it's everything is like so well connected, and it it kind of reminds me almost of, as if it's like a sinister as type like um oh my gosh i'm like quentin tarantino movie in a way yeah. not as not quite as good i mean it, it was very good i actually enjoyed this a lot but yeah i definitely got a lot of tarantino vibes from this you know there was uh there, there, there were a lot of flashbacks you know happening in this movie um as well that kind of you know pieced everything together so i really appreciate that but devin 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 well, uh, so like, okay. Besides Robert Pattinson and Tom Holland, like, I guess how how, how did the rest of the cast to you? How, how did they stack up? I'm still getting used to Bill Skarsgård, like not in Pennywise <laughs> makeup. It's so weird because his yeah. face is just so creepy now that I look at it. But he did a really good job. I think his accent was really like interesting and fun to listen like, to. S- like super thick yeah, like it like he had it's like he had chew in his mouth the entire movie i think they all i think tom holland had something in his mouth as well and they, they always like, they always had some kind of cigarette going on yeah but we talk, talk a lot later and you know got that uh that the nacho chew in there oh yeah so he had literally cigarettes galore <laughs> what did you think Sorry, of, go ahead. Uh, of your buddy uh dudley his second I he, appearance I totally forgot he was in this movie for a second. And I'm like, I literally just watched it. I thought he did 
a way better job in this movie than he did. Yeah, he was. What was it? The old guard. Old guard, but he was good in this one. Man, there was. There's just so many surprise moments in this film, and I I didn't think any of it was going to happen. I didn't know what to like expect from this movie. The only thing (laughs) from the trailer. I was looking for that delusion. Delusions. Scene. That's such a good Delusions. Gift. It's just a perfect but, gift. Yeah. Like I honestly did not I, I didn't know what to expect from this film. I didn't even I think I watched the trailer once prior, and that was like weeks ago. I haven't looked up anything else about the film whatsoever. And I kind of just went into it blind. I was like, I don't know if this is gonna be like demonic or you know, just more on the scary side it was it's like i mean like you said you know the synopsis uh sums it up pretty it's 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 sinister it's all about corruption brutality just yeah a lot, a lot of, of, of religion too kind of touches on the evil sides of religion especially yes in the yes South. Mm-hmm. yeah the the how um how, how people can you know i guess you could say misread certain verses from the bible or they have their own corrupt delusional way of you know um (laughs) spreading quote unquote the good word so there's always that it's it it is some crazy crazy stuff but uh what did you think of like the set pieces or like you know you didn't really um i was i was surprised that like this this normally this this happens in the Early 1900s, I believe. It's like 1950s, 60s, something like that. Yeah, it's like, I think it's uh, In the Tom Holland part like right before Nam or like during Nam. Yeah, 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 right. Yeah, during the Vietnam era. So, yeah, it was just, man, I was actually kind of blown away. And the, the ending, of course, I'm not really going to talk about this touch and say it was, it was just, wow. Like it's, it's just it's one of those ending is it's where it's like we we can't even tell was that a happy ending I mean it's kind yeah, of hard to tell like like it definitely you know as we as we had said you know like everything does come together but yeah it is very tough to um there's just a lot to take in especially for our main character what was his name uh, oh my gosh uh, Tom Arvind. Holland Arvin 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 yes that's right. Yeah, Arvin Russell and Haley. Oh my gosh, Haley Bennett. <laughs> Sorry about that. Sorry about that, uh, guys. Siri just decided to, uh, you know, be in there. But yes, Haley Bennett is also uh, in this movie as well. Uh, she she does a really good job um, for the scenes that she's in. So really, this honestly great great cast all around. R- r- really nice little ensemble. Uh, so if, if this movie were to have came out in theaters, would would you have ran to see it in theaters? Or do you think this does better as just a streaming release for people to watch at home? If if COVID wasn't a thing, it, I would have seen it in theaters. That's pretty much my answer for most movies, I'd say. You say you would have seen it in theaters? Yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah. And see, like, I'm not entirely sure if they were planning on having this in theaters anyway, because, you know, sometimes they just... You know, even pre-COVID, you know, there were just some movies that did come out on Netflix. So it was kind of, you know, <laughs> not every movie came out on Netflix. So that's that's always a good thing. But, yeah, um, man, was there anything else you wanted to touch on that we didn't really get to talk about? I know, you know, we're trying to keep it spoiler free. So, yeah, it's, it's tough sure. without uh, spoiling anything. But there's like a, there's some really cool shots they had mm-hmm. um, towards the end, especially with Tom Holland. That shot of his like when his back is turned and he and he turns his head that was really cool. Oh yeah, yeah, that's in the trailer. Yeah, yeah I saw that. I was like, ooh, that's. It's it's just really nice to see Tom Holland, you know, taking on these other roles, and you know, he's not just like a Disney actor. He's not just playing Spider Man. He does a fantastic job playing Spider Man. But as I said before, you know, he he did a great job when it came to. Just, just this role. Yeah, I mean, his southern like his, accent his was first um, dramatic role since his debut. The movie mm-hmm. called The Impossible was his first movie in 2012. But yeah, he hasn't, yeah, he hasn't been doing anything dramatic since then. So I'm sure it was good for him to get back in that genre. 
Yeah, for sure. And I mean, I guess you could say Homecoming had its dramatic moments, of course, but yes, it wasn't a full on drama. But yeah, like it, even his um, at first, like I thought that, you know, like his his American accent is just his American accent. It's what we've heard in, you know, uh, Onward. It's what we've heard in Spice in Disguise. It's what we've, of course, heard in Spider-Man. But, you know, he, re- he really just makes it his own. I heard if somebody on Twitter was like complaining about like his voice in on where they're like, all I hear is him playing as Spider Man, like blah 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 blah. He sounds too much like Spider Man. I'm like, well, yeah. I mean, if you take an actor, say like, I don't know, Tom Hanks, and he's doing Woody, I still hear Tom Hanks because that's Tom Hanks's voice. Tim Allen, I know it's Tim Allen, but like, it, it, it I don't know, it was some. I have some random Twitter account. I was like scrolling through Twitter one day and saw that. I was like, what is this guy talking about? Just completely complaining about it. Like, oh, he sounds too much like Spider-Man. It's like, well, what he sounds too much like Tom Hanks. What do you want me to say about it? Like, that's that's just that's how it works, you know? But yes, uh his southern accent was very good. Robert Pattinson's was just it is just crazy how he's just, he can he's just so good in this movie. Yeah, both of them are. <laughs> he really is. Um, but yeah, Tom Holland. Man. Yeah, he had to have reached so deep down for this this role. Like, it's it's yeah, heavy. He did. It it is. You know, him coming off of you know like three, four like MCU. You know, it all these you know more kid friendly roles. I imagine it is a little bit harder for him to dig deeper and six thing okay you know this is more of a serious role let's let's get into the mixes let's let's pull some of that that sinister anguish uh resentment out and let's let's get the camera rolling so <laughs> but yeah it's great great film overall um did you want to get into scores now or yeah i was just, I was just gonna one? say the major issue i had was mm. any movie where there's like diverging plot lines that kind of meet in the end um it's kind of tough to pull that off and i think for this movie the plot line revolving um sebastian stan's character was kind of the Mm. weak link to me i agree Um, yeah it could have used some work and it felt like it wasn't as connected as the other other two were Mm -hmm. so that's that's definitely the big complaint that i would have yeah And, and going back and thinking about that yes that was definitely between the three stories that were happening. Um, that that was definitely more of the weaker link. I wish we would have got a little bit more depth because you know this this the story does start, it does start off a like a bit slow, but like I don't mind that myself because like I think like at least like the first thirty five to forty minutes was like great. Like it was it was kind of like a prologue to what was going on. Yeah, so that was it really picks up pretty fast not, too. Yeah. And, you know, you get, you know, you got more backstory that way. But, yes, with Sebastian Stan's storyline, it was a bit. He wasn't as developed. Confusing. Huh? He wasn't as developed. No, no. he, he No, he was not. Not at all. But he was developed in that, that weight, though. <laughs> I was like, eh, got a deer for the role. So. Yeah, apparently all right. it was really supposed to be Chris Evans in that role, but he had to drop out. Oh really? So he you just, know he, what? He for a, handed it off to his good friend Winter Soldier. For a hot second, I thought I saw Chris Evans in that movie. For like a split second, I'm like, oh, that, no, no, that, that's not him. I'm like, wow, this is a, a Marvel family reunion. So, <laughs> but now it's all right. But yes, uh, wonderful, wonderful film all around. Uh, you ready to get into uh, scores? Yeah. Oh, actually, I forgot to ask you: Would you watch this movie again? With family, friends? Um, it's not not the best family movie, I'd say. <laughs> it's like, guys, you ready to be depressed? I might, off might watch it a <laughs> couple years down the road. Yeah, give it some I agree. time to breathe. For sure. Yeah, especially. Well, I don't see this being on cable. Maybe, but you you really don't see movies that are on streaming services on cable, do you? Like, just never. No. Nope. I don't know. I don't have cable, so. <laughs> All right, so Devin, out of a hundred bobbles, what would you give Devil all the time? This this movie does make me want to throw away the bobbles. 
Delusions. Um, I'm gonna go, like I said, uh, I had the one major issue. I think overall it was a like really good movie. It's not quite great, like greatness level mm. that it possibly could have hit. I'll go with a solid eighty-five. Okay, okay. I was gonna go with a, a solid eighty, honestly. So yeah, I thought that was I thought that was a really good like good score to give it. So you know, it was um, yeah car- carried by two like powerhouse performances. A um, couple couple minor issues with the story, but overall, really well done. Yeah, it, it definitely it it ended. I I, I like the way it ended for sure because I was interested to see how it was going to end. So, yeah, cool. 85 from Devin, 80 uh, out of 100 from me. So, yeah, I guess that pretty much concludes our um, non-spoiler review of Devil All the Time. Again, that is coming to Netflix this coming up Wednesday on September 16th. And as always, again, thank you, Netflix, for letting us watch and review this film to present to all of you wonderful people listening to our podcast at home or wherever you may be. And also, of course, share, share this podcast with your friends. We're, we're available, Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Stitcher, TuneIn, Pandora, all, all the stuff I said before. Pr- pretty much every podcast platform minus SiriusXM that you can think of. And, of course, you can follow us on Instagram and Twitter at Film Optics. That is Optics with an X. And I believe, I don't know what we're reviewing next, but we'll figure it out. It's okay. <laughs> but I get, of course, that was Devin, and my name is Christian. And oh, oh my gosh, I almost forgot. Always, always, always check out the Drive In Podcast Network. Go on to musiccitydrivein.com. I have all that in the description of the podcast itself. We have commentaries, we have music, we have sports. We got it all. There's us as well, but definitely check out the other podcast they're doing some great great work they got some oscar talk over there as well so um now (laughs) that was devin my name is christian and we will see you all in the next one delusions